Four, three, two, one. Studio Classroom is Record. Studio Classroom is on the air. Hello everyone, welcome to Studio Classroom on the Air, where your English will improve today. Das ist gut, ja? My name is Gabe. Okay, no, we're not having a lesson with my fake German accent today. However, if you go to Germany around this time of year, you will hear some real German accents at Rock am Ring und Rock im Park. That is the name of our lesson today. It means rock at the ring and rock in the park, so rock on, right? Today you'll learn the very useful word simultaneous, as well as up and coming, and of course much more. So, eins, zwei, drei, what are we waiting for? Rock am Ring und Rock im Park. Rock at the Ring and Rock in the Park. Two festivals, two places, one lineup. Some people yearn for the outdoors and the good weather that summer brings. Others eagerly await the moment their favorite music festival starts. This weekend, that moment will finally arrive for thousands at one of Germany's largest rock festivals. It's so big that it's actually two festivals in one. You may have heard of simultaneous performances on different stages during a music festival. But what about simultaneous festivals that share the same lineup? That's exactly what happens at Rock am Ring and Rock im Park. Hi everyone, welcome to Language Lab. 这篇文章的第一个重点，我们看 yearn 这个动词。yearn 是指渴望、切盼或者是渴求。如果要说明渴求什么的话，是用 for 这个介系词。例如 ，Patricia always yearns for something sweet when she's tired. Patricia 累的时候总是渴望吃些甜的东西。或者是 Irene has been yearning for a vacation so she can get away from the stress at work. Irene 一直很渴望能够有度假的机会，让自己可以远离工作的压力。Yearn 的后面也可以加上不定词 to， 再加上原形动词。例如 ，Emily yearns to please everyone around her. Emily 渴望能够取悦身边的每个人。接下来我们看 simultaneous 这个形容词 ，s i m u l 这个字根是指类似或相同，所以 simultaneous 是指同时发生的或者是同时进行的。注意它的重音是在 t a 这个音节念成 simultaneous。例如 ，the simultaneous terrorist attacks shook the whole world。这两起同时发生的恐攻事件震撼了全世界。或者是 ，the conference offers simultaneous translation for each session。这个研讨会每一堂课程都会提供同步翻译。它的副词是字尾加上 l y 变成 simultaneously。例如 ，two movies that featured the same leading actor were released last Friday simultaneously. 由同一位男演员主演的这两部电影上周五同时上映。Cool, a music festival just like this、mm-hmm. would be awesome. Rebecca,、uh, you have been to Germany before, right? Oh, I have been to Germany. Yes, indeed. And so, did you go to any music festival when you、mm, were there? Let me think. No, I did not. We went to the Oktoberfest. That's、uh-huh. not really a music festival. That's in October. That's right. It celebrates something different than music,、yeah. but there is music at the Oktoberfest, and I just love festivals in general. Because you like the food, right? Well, the food and the atmosphere, and、uh-huh. of course, because it's a festival, then it's fun as well. So we're <laughs> learning about this music festival. Let's see if、um, let's see if you can pronounce this correctly, Rebecca. 
Can you say the name of the of the festival? Rock a m Ring and mm -hmm. Rock im Park. Hey, you know that's not bad for for someone who's not German. Right? Yeah, yeah. not bad at all. <laughs> It、sounds like a really interesting festival. I, I couldn't say it any better,、um, and it means rock at the ring and rock in the park. So if you love rock music, and I'm sure now there's lots of different kinds of rock music at this festival, but if you like that kind of music, then you would love this festival. Wait, so you're saying that rock a m ring and、mm -hmm. rock in park? That's German, right? Yes. See, it's not even English. I did pretty good. Right. So the English translation is "rock at the ring" and "rock、right. in the park." So two festivals, two places, one lineup. Friends, what is a lineup? Well, that's what we want to talk about right now. You've maybe heard of、uh, people lining up for something. Maybe if you're at a restaurant,、um, people are lining up so that they can buy. Something delicious there. Well, a lineup is a group of people on a list for a specific purpose. So, for our lesson, that's talking about the bands who will be playing at these festivals. Exactly. And here's another way you can use this word lineup. Let's say that you are preparing a talent show at your school, and you invited lots of people to perform. And you need to know when or what songs they're going to perform, so that you can create a lineup. So you know what the order is. Exactly, and you have a lineup of the songs, a lineup of the bands.、Mm -hmm. Here we're talking about two festivals, two places, but one lineup. How does that work? Well, we're going to find out soon. But we read here: some people yearn for the outdoors and the good weather that summer brings. And yearn, of course, is to really desire something. You really want it.、Um, you know, I I'm like that too. I love the summer weather,、mm -hmm. unless it's really humid. Yeah. Well, others eagerly await the moment their favorite musical music festival starts. This weekend, that moment will finally arrive for thousands at one of Germany's largest rock festivals. So, Gabe. This is the moment you've been waiting for. This is the moment a lot of music lovers have been waiting for. This is a great phrase, friends. It's not in our lesson, but it is. This is the moment you've been waiting for, or this is the moment we've been waiting for. You can use this phrase to talk about something that people have been anticipating or looking forward to, and it's finally here. Exactly. Now here's a simple example as to how you can use this phrase. Let's say that there's a little girl. She's five or six years old, and she's been waiting for her birthday. Her birthday is right around the corner, and finally, finally, it arrived, and it's time for the birthday party. She could say, "This is the moment I've been waiting for." Well, Rebecca,、uh, yeah, there's another moment that I've been waiting for. What's that? And actually, I think friends are looking forward to learning about this phrase because they see it here. It is two in one. Okay,、mm. so our lesson continues. It's so big that it's actually two festivals in one. Okay, two in one. That's just a fun phrase.、Uh, you use it in just kind of a fun way to talk about two things that accomplish the same purpose. Well, you know something, Gabe.、Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like a latte is like two drinks in one. Okay, because you have the coffee. And you get milk. That's true. Or maybe you've seen those little packets of coffee, right?、Mm. And sometimes they'll say three in one because you've got、uh, the milk powder, the coffee powder, and sugar. That is three in one. That's right. Well, our lesson says you may have heard of simultaneous performances on different stages during a music festival, but what about simultaneous festivals that share the same lineup? Yeah,、mm. and how is that supposed to work? Well, we read that's exactly what happens at Rock am Ring und Rock im Park. Okay. Well, we do have more to learn about this and how this works at this festival. But right now, it's time for us to face the music in the, the info, info cloud. cloud. Hello, friends. Welcome to InfoCloud. What should we talk about today, Carolyn? 
Well, I had to devote my attention to another project yesterday, so I wasn't able to prepare like I normally do. So today, I guess I'll have to face the music. Well, I certainly understand getting involved in a lot of projects, but I like the phrase that Carolyn used here: "to face the music." This is a phrase we use to describe when you have to deal with the results of your actions, but it's never a pleasant thing. Right. One way to use this phrase is to describe getting caught at doing something wrong. He stole small amounts of money for years before he was caught and had to face the music. But we commonly use this for results that are uncomfortable or unpleasant. If you are unable to get a work assignment done on time, at some point you will have to tell your boss and face the music. That's a great example. Now, when we use this phrase, we will often say that someone has to face the music, but we also say it's time to face the music. So earlier, when I admitted I wasn't as prepared as I would like, I could say, "I wasn't able to prepare a lesson, so now it's time to face the music." 音乐是一种无形的艺术。那为什么会有人说 "It's time to face the music"？ 是时候我们要面对音乐了。这到底是什么意思呢？我们要怎么面对一个看不见的东西？原来 "face the music" 是面对后果，通常是指做了一些不太对的事，最后必须面对那个不愉快的现实。譬如你平常时没有读书，等到考试的时候，你就必须 "face the music"。虽然这个惯用语的来源众说纷纭，但有可能是因为每一场表演开始的时候，当乐团的乐声响起，表演者不管有没有准备好，都必须上台 face the music。这就是今天的 Info Cloud， 我们下次云端见。Studio Classroom is on the air. Welcome back to Studio Classroom. Now, how would you like to go to a music festival? Actually, maybe a festival that was two festivals in one. That is music that is going on at the same time in one place as at another, and you've got the same lineup of musicians. How does that work anyway? How are the musicians going to get from one place to the next in time? And how far apart are these festivals? We're going to learn about that right now. Rock am Ring und Rock im Park. Rock at the ring and rock in the park. They take place on the same weekend. And share the same featured bands, even though the venues are around 400 kilometers apart. The first Rock Am Ring was held in 1985 to celebrate the new Grand Prix racecourse at the Nuremberg Ring. But the concert was so successful it continued every year, bringing in rock legends and up-and-coming German bands alike. In 1993, Rock im Park started as a sister festival in Vienna, and found its permanent home at the Zeppelin Field, Zeppelinfeld, in Nuremberg, Nuremberg, in 2004. Altogether, over 150,000 concert goers will be enjoying fantastic shows all weekend long. OK， 继续我们看 venue 这个名词。venue 是指公开活动的场地或举行地点。例如 ，the couple has already booked the venue for their wedding in September。这对情侣已经预定了九月份婚礼的场地。或者是 ，the community center has been the venue for the bingo game for many years。
这个社区中心多年来一直都是这个宾国比赛的场地，或者是 the venue for the concert will be Carnegie Hall。这场演唱会的场地会在卡内基音乐厅。所以，我们看 up and coming 这个形容词。Up and coming 是指很有前途的、崭露头角的，或者是日趋重要的。例如 ，The up and coming young singer has already won several singing contests. 这位前程似锦的年轻歌手已经在好几项歌唱比赛中拔得头筹。或者是 ，This film was directed by an up and coming director from Canada. 这部电影是由一位前景看好的加拿大导演所指导的。And now let's get back to our teachers. Rock on, Michelle. Okay, friends. Let's continue with our lesson here to see how this works. How there can be a simultaneous festival,、uh, two festivals going on at the same time, and there's the same lineup for both groups. We read here they take place on the same weekend and share the same featured bands, even though the venues are around 400 kilometers apart. Rebecca.、Mm-hmm. How would you feel if you were a musician in one of these bands, and you you have to give one show one night、mm-hmm. and then travel 400 kilometers to give the same show somewhere else? Yeah, the next day. Well, I mean, if I were a musician that did that type of performing, I probably would think it was really, really cool. Yeah, you're right. Actually, I mean, it's actually kind of easy because you're doing the same lineup, so spending all that time practicing, and then you get to perform the same same lineup two times in a row. Yeah, I think it sounds great. I guess I was just thinking it might be kind of tiring traveling that far, but hey, maybe you're right. Well, maybe with today's technology and forms of transportation, it might be kind of fun. That's true. Maybe, maybe they could ride on the high speed rail、right. in Germany, of exactly. course. Exactly, or driving on the autobahn where there's no speed limit. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're going to learn about the history of these festivals now. Looks pretty cool, right? We read the first Rock Am Ring was held in 1985 to celebrate the new Grand Prix race course at the Nurburgring. Hmm. Yes, I'm sure I didn't say that、uh, correctly, but it, it was close. But the concert was so successful, it continued every year, bringing in rock legends and up-and-coming German bands alike. Friends, there is a phrase right there. It's a very useful phrase, a good phrase to know. Something and something else alike. You use this when talking about something that two or more things have in common. So, in our in our sentence, rock legends or people who are famous, rock legends. And German bands have what in common? Well, this festival hosts them both, something and something else alike. Exactly. And here's another example as to how to use this sentence pattern: cats and dogs alike both enjoy running after moving objects. <laughs> so if they both see a ball, guess what? They're gonna run after it. Yeah, that's right.、Mm-hmm. It, I'm sure you're thinking about your kitten mittens running after cockroaches, right? Oh yes, and anything else that moves. Right, that's a good <laughs> example. So cats and dogs alike like running after things that move. Okay, so we move on here. In 1993, Rock in Park started as a sister festival. Now, before we continue, that's a useful word as well. A sister something. Okay, this is used to describe something that's closely related to something else. So, of course, you can talk about sister festival, or you can replace festival with church. For example, the church Myrtle Grove has a sister church that's about five hours away from its location. That's right, or maybe there are、uh, restaurants that were opened by the same owner at different places, and that's a sister restaurant. Okay, well we continue here. This festival was in Vienna and found its permanent home at the Zeppelin Field in Nuremberg in 2004. So that's where it is today. Altogether, over 150,000 concert goers will be enjoying fantastic shows all weekend long. Now this is a fun phrase that we would like you to know as well. That's right. All and then a period of time long. You use this to talk about how long something will last. For example, poor Nicole. She coughed all night long. I think she probably should go see the doctor. All right. Well, Rebecca, we've been talking all 
lesson long. long. <laughs> right now, it's time for us to go to the, the SC, SC challenge. challenge. Friends, for today's challenge, let's have our contestants introduce themselves. We have. Hello, everybody. Jack here, and I'm so excited to be here on SC Challenge. And I'm Luke, and wow, I am more than excited for today. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to see who will win. Friends, of course, you are playing as well. All right, Rock at the Ring and Rock in the Park. Number one, what word best describes these festivals that go on at the same time? A. Up and coming. B. Simultaneous. C. Retrospective. Or D. Solitary. Do we have any guesses? Luke? My guess is simultaneous. You would be correct. The answer was B. Oh, yeah. Simultaneous. All right. Sweet. I thought maybe you guys would ring your bells simultaneously. <laughs> I'll uh, let you have that one. Oh, nice. No, that, too nice. <clears throat> Very generous indeed, Jack. Okay, number two. When and where was the first Rock am um, Ring held? <clears throat> Should I say that in a German accent? Okay, I won't. Okay, when and where, okay? The place and the date. All right. In 1967 on an airplane, that's A. B, 1976 at a swimming pool. C, 1985 at a race course, or D, 1993 in Vienna? Jack! I believe that would be D, 1993 in Vienna. Oh, this was kind of a trick question because that was one of the dates listed in our lesson, but that's oh. not the correct answer. Luke, do you have a guess? Okay, that's, there's 1967 on mm -hmm. an airplane, 1976 mm -hmm. at a swimming pool, 1985 mm -hmm. at a race course. Then... I'm going to go with 1985 at the race course. And Luke, you have two correct. Very nice job. The answer was C, 1985 at a race course. All right. Jack, maybe you'll, you'll get a point here. <clears throat> Number one. <laughs> In what country did Rock in Park start? A, Austria, B, Germany, C, Holland, or D, England? Oh, I know. Huh. Jack. I'm going to go with Austria. Jack, you got a point. Yes. Oh, my good, good job. job, Jack. <laughs> all right. Yes, the answer is A, Austria. Friends, I know you got all those answers correct as well. Jack is our winner for today, but you guys, I mean, sorry, Luke is the winner for today. <laughs> uh, that was just such a great ending, Jack. It, it, it seemed like you were the winner, but oh. you're both winners, you know. We're both all right. winners. <laughs> That's right. Friends, we'll see you next time for the SC Challenge. Yes. All right, Rebecca, here's mm -hmm. a, little, um, a little test for you. Okay, I love tests. It's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. All right, you saw the keyword yearn from today's lesson. Can you use the word yearn in your own sentence that can you I, will create on the spot right now? Can I use the word yearn yeah. right here on the spot? Yeah, yearn. I yearn for an opportunity to practice my Chinese. Oh, Rebecca. Thankfully, you live in a place where you can practice all the time. That's right. Friends, do you yearn <laughs> to continue learning about Rock am Ring und Rock im Park? Because we will do that next time right here on Studio Classroom. A friend in yours at all times. A good friend lasts a lifetime. I am so proud to have you in my life. A good friend lasts a lifetime